Well, you know, spooky season is nearly here. I guess we can say it's here. And whether you like horror or more of a mystery type deal, there's some good reads for you. We're trying to bring you all kinds of reads to get you into the fall. Alyssa Pressler is the owner of That's Novel Books, and she's here to help us out. How are you? I'm so great. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming back. Of course. Um, remind people where That's Novel Books is. Yeah, we are located in Camp North End, right by Grow in the Mount area. It's a lot of fun being there. It that's a perfect spot. It's, it's fun. so much fun in there, and like you can hit all the little shops. It's yeah. really, really cool. All right. Um, you opened in February of 2020. You are a book expert. <laughs> so this is a really cool time of year because you can kind of ease into spooky books. You yes. can go all in on spooky books. You're going to take us through some reads. You want to start down that way? Yeah, of course. We've got some great horror to start off. Stephen Graham Jones is my um, go-to horror author. I absolutely loved The Only Good Indians, which came out in 2020, actually, shortly after we opened. Mm. This is uh, his most recent book that came out this year. And then we've also got My Heart is a Chainsaw. Mm. Very typical horror, gory, creepy, spooky. This one's kind of got the feel of like those um, slasher movies, which is really fun if you like those kind of like spooky old school slasher movies. What's fun about books like this is, you know, I think for some people like, oh, book's not scary. No, when it's done right, a book can be very scary. 100%. This is one of the few books that I've actually like gasped at and been like, oh, <laughs> like not expecting it. Okay. Very good. All okay. right. Yeah. So make note of that. What's next? Um, so this is a little less spooky, but a little bit more suspenseful. People have been um, saying that Chain Gang All Stars is kind of like Hunger Games, but set in the prison system. Oh. So not quite scare your pants off, but you're going to be on the edge of your seat, a little freaked out the whole time very suspenseful kind of read so I wanted to include that as well that's good um, and then this is a little bit more of your typical kind of thriller um, a couple of students die and there's this other teen who is kind of being accused of it and um, you know maybe trying to figure out what is going on but it's got that spooky mystical paranormal element as well what's that one called this one is where sleeping girls lie and who's the author just because I think people might remember it. Oh, Farida Abike Oh, I, of I, I apologize. <laughs> of course, I asked I should have, one. I'm so sorry. I should have looked that one there up early. Is, there yes. it is. So just, you know, there Perfect. you go. Write yes. that down, take a screenshot. Exactly. We'll put this on our website as well, so you don't have to worry about that. What about that guy down there? So not everybody loves to be totally scared right. while they're reading their books, but they do love a good mystery element. And I think this is a great one where you're not going to be terrified, but there is a murder mystery at its core, and it's got a little humor in it. So if you're not a super scary reader, I think this is one of my go to's for you. It's really fun to read, but you're still kind of that who done it situation. I've heard about trees. I haven't yeah. read it though. What is this about? So this is a murder mystery. A string of murders begins happening in this small town in the south and these two uh, investigators get involved and it gets creepier and creepier. This one I do think is a little more in the vein of horror. Mm. It's got those gory scenes a little bit, but by the end it's also got some really profound um, you know, explorations of race relations in the country. Which, so I love that element to it as well as it being a little bit creepy. A little more heady, which yeah. is good. All right, what's Kindred? So this is a classic by Octavia Butler. It's not super scary, but it has a sci-fi element where she's traveling in time and she's put into really dangerous situations. So again, a great pick if you're not somebody who wants to be totally scared, but you want to be a little freaked out. Um, we have about a minute left. Yeah. Pick two of these so we can talk about them. Well, we know that Stephen King is the king of horror, of course. Oh, I the brought fans. these along as um, a reminder that we do have used books. So we might not have these particular books all of the time, but if you're looking for something that is a little bit more cost effective, I mean, $3 for a classic horror, you can't beat that price. And honestly, if you didn't read The Stand when it first came out or you never saw that mini series that they did on TV. The Stand is awesome. So great. One it's of my so favorites. Good. All right, before we go, I want you to tell everybody about this because yeah. this is one of the cutest things that you do. I don't have a thriller to showcase for these, but we do blind dates in all different types of genres. It is a great way to get a book when you're not sure what to get, and we do offer that as a subscription. So you could choose thriller and horror as your book that you want to receive every single month. We wrap it up, we make it a surprise for you, and we mail it right to your home. Oh, that's brilliant. You're yeah. doing book trivia tonight? We are. We do it once a month at room service at Camp North End. We love partnering with the other local businesses. And on October 30th, we are going to do a spooky themed one 
for Monster Mash, so it's gonna be all types of spooky monster-related books, so keep an eye out for that. Brilliant idea, great recommendations. Alyssa, we appreciate it so much. You saw all the information for that novel books up on the screen. You can go check them out at Camp North End. We, we just love it when you come, come again, okay? Anytime. Thank all right, you. Jorge, did you find one that uh, kind of uh, piqued your interest? I mean, it's all because I'm not a big spooky guy, okay. so that one's a little, you okay. know, I have to all deal right. with that one. Good.